guys, I'm Holly and I'm bringing Japanese tea to the West. Today it's tea time in London. We're here in Wimbledon Village and it's a very special day. It's actually the Diamond Jubilee for the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen. And we have an incredibly special tea. This tea called Sencha Pinnacle has been given to the Emperor. So I thought what a perfect occasion to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. So without further ado, the water has just boiled and I'm going to heat my teapot right here with water that is semi-soft because that will bring out the most flavor in our tea. I've already pre-measured this, so I'm actually heating this and I'm going to pour it into something else so it can cool because that's one of the most important things for Japanese tea of this caliber. I must say it is the top tea in Japan and it's very difficult to find. So I shall start measuring the temperature on that. And without further ado, let's open this. I'm as excited as you are to see this. I've never had this tea in my life. It's hand-picked only a couple of days um, out of the season to pick this. And this is Shincha, so it's the first flush. It's, vi oh my gosh, the aroma is unbelievable. Someone needs to invent smell of vision because this is just too good to miss out. Have a look at that color. Can you see that? There you go. Oh my gosh, this is just divine. It's so fresh. Okay, I am actually going to pour this in here. I wanted to put it in this white thing so you could see the color of it. And this is how I measure it. I'm going to put, I'm actually putting 10 grams in because I like a little bit more water in mine. So I put a little bit more tea. And I'm actually going to need a little bit more, I think. Yeah, that's not quite enough. So we're doing great on the water temperature. The other thing we need to remember is we don't want this to be in the open air too long. So I'm going to wrap this up immediately so that it doesn't lose any of the freshness. And I'm going to put it in an airtight canister like this, literally with a packet right in here. Put that beauty, oops, I'm going to do that. There we go. Right in there. Freshness is so important and it goes so quickly with these fresh teas. So you want to make sure that it's kept airtight in a dark place. Okay, the water temperature is cooling slightly. I like to make this tea at 75 degrees. Some people like to make it at 80. When you make it at 80 degrees, it is a little bit, um, I guess zestier is what I want to say. So I'm literally cooling the cup and I'm cooling the water here like that. And I'm also going to cool the teapot that we're, or heat the teapot that we're going to use. Ah, oh, I can't wait to try this. The aroma is just amazing. It's coming out of this heated teapot. Now I make my tea a little bit different to the way that the Japanese do. I find it's a lot easier this way. Instead of pouring it into the cups and then pouring the hot water from the cups into the teapot. You just are able to control the taste of it and the process a little bit better. Okay, I would imagine this is the right temperature. Let me just have a look. This is so special, I don't want to mess it up. Great. Okay, we are right on the money here. Now, timing is the other critical component, so we want to time this for one minute have my little timer here. So here we go. And it's going to time. Let me water there. Put the lid on it. And get the teapot ready to go. Look at that. It is a very delicate tea. Oh, the aroma is incredible. It's kind of um, it's like a spring day. It's not that fresh cut grass smell, but it's sort of like that. It's a bit more floral than that. And we have a little bit of time to go, so I'm going to prepare to strain it. So I've got my heated teacup here. 
Got my tea brewing and ready to pour into the strainer and strain it all. It's really important to get every single last bit of the tea um, brew out of the leaves so that you can have a great second brew. This particular tea is such a high, high quality tea that it can be brewed for three different infusions. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to do it very, very slowly to just make sure that the flavor is at its best. This is amazing, look at that. Oh, I can't wait to try this, but actually it's for the queen, so I shouldn't be taking her cup now, should I? Okay, every last drop out of here. And this is the glory of making Japanese tea because patience is king. It makes you slow down a bit, which is nice. Last drop out of here. Fantastic. And you actually don't want to shake it. A little bit of moving up and down is okay, but when you shake it, it makes the, the tea become bitter. So that's a no-no. And take the lid off, and now you can shake it so that the leaves don't stew. Go. This is for Her Majesty the Queen on the Diamond Jubilee. A perfect cup of tea. From the Emperor to you. Come by.